Hey, what's up guys? Today, I have, um, I usually don't like these types of decks. I don't like mono region decks, but today we have Mono Shadow Isles with the new card, uh, Risen Mist. It's actually not too bad. It's, it's pretty decent. Not the best card in the world, but, I mean, it makes this archetype a lot better, actually. Um, so, I... I thought this deck would be a bit harder to play, but as soon as you get into the mindset, it's actually uh, you play Wraith Callers and you play Mist Rates and uh, you, you play more Mist Rates than Wraith Callers and um, <laughs> yeah, Kales is here because like, he's a solid turn 3, he can level up etc, but um, it's mainly Wraith Callers, Mist Rates, you have like draw tools like Stocky Shadows like Clips to get them, um, the rest are com kind of combo tools. Um, you extend the mysteries with uh, scribes, chroniclers, splinter souls, uh, free memories, etc., etc. I mean, and then you have like stall, like grasp. Grasp is the only stall actually in this deck. Miss call extender. Uh, you, you can use this as a stall or a finisher. Uh, I don't like using it early because it messes up power wings a lot, which is the one of the main finishers of this deck. Atrocity also very good finisher of the deck. Uh, vengeance to kill like, I don't know, there's a lot of things in the meta you can vengeance, like trundles. So um, yeah, uh, that's the deck, very simple. You play Wraith Callers, uh, let's get into the game. Alright, whoever gets Karma Ezreal, I'm not sure what the most popular version of that is yet. We're just gonna take a hard full mulligan. We could keep the glimpse. It's actually not bad here. But we're looking for our Wraith Callers. This Wraith is good, but like it's probably gonna get Mystic Shotted or Mystic Shotted. It's getting Mystic Shotted, okay? Pretty much getting Mystic Shotted. Maybe we should have played it next turn so we could glimpse it, yeah, but we knew I was getting my shotted, so... Ooh. Uh, this is a bit harder to deal with. I know they like running the... Ooh. Just say, I know they like running the 3 mana 4-2 with lifesteal, so that would have dealt with the Kalissa quite nicely, but... He doesn't seem to have an immediate answer. Yeah, let's play more mystery. He does miss a shot again or some shit. We're just gonna glimpse. Nice glimpse here. Take the card draw. Hopefully, you get wraith collars. Would be optimal. We really need wraith collars here. Stocky shadows, maybe. But they're still not very, uh, not very optimal. Uh, I don't really want to take the block there. It's kind of shitty. All right, this this hand stays very very awkward. <laughs> We're just gonna go ahead and pass. We can play the skitter. I usually don't like doing this, but like our hand state is kind of in need. We could. This. We could do a splinter soul onto this, but I'm afraid it's just gonna get body, you know? Cause like, if we splinter soul and then this happens, this gets plus one. It, it's very good, we get a lot of damage. But like, Karma Ezreal just has like. So many ways to disrupt that, that it's annoying. With 5 mana, we have the excited. Mystic shot. I mean, he would have to have 3rd mystic shot to get excited. We can risk it. I don't have anything else in hand that's gonna make use of this splinter soul, right? It's like just so much damage if we get it, get it off. It's pretty insane. 9 damage. Oh, we actually got it. Might static shock this, but... 
Wait. Oh, okay. Um, Kalis is not gonna level here, but it's good habit to put her on the right. In case she does level for some reason. Just just good habit. Glimpse. I thought you never ask. I think I have a good bait we can do here. Watch and learn. She's gonna mystic shot the Callista, we're just gonna glimpse the skitterer. So the Callista levels, right? Pretty standard. And he might still be able to kill the Callista, but he most likely will get to level here. Oh. Oh! He doesn't kill the Callista, he just a nice card draw. Which is a valid play. Uh, this is a little bit of a problem. We don't have Wraith Collars. So Kalista's gonna pull the Skitterer out. Man, our heroine kind of... It's not terrible. I mean, might as well go for it. We literally have... Okay. If whoever does it, hasn't seen Carmen Ezreal before, you die on turn ten, okay? You you just you just you just die, okay? I, I I'm always assuming I'm gonna die on turn ten. Ezreal's close to level, so probably dying on turn ten. This is turn seven, so we have two turns to kill him. This turn and and our next attack turn. So we're just gonna go for it, and then we're just gonna harrowing again. Okay. So he rummages. He see if he can't stop this, he just win. Unfortunately, we drew zero Wraith College, so I didn't get to show you guys the glory. But, we, we ended up winning. Take the W. Uh, yeah, let's get to the next game. Hopefully, we get uh, more of our combo pieces. Alright, up against Trundle Sejuani. I actually beat Trundle Trinomir earlier. Not sure how this deck is, how different this deck is, but we have a... I'm not mind keeping one Vengeance. Two Vengeance is kind of mad to keep. Uh... Wraith Caller, Miss Wraith, Solid Keeps, honestly. I'm down, I'm down. <laughs> oh. oh. This. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Not sure how much their deck differs, but we're just gonna start plopping these down, you know? Just. Honestly. Oh. Perfect. Two damage. I mean. He probably has a shit ton of healing, but it's whatever. Oh, okay. I'm just not gonna worry. Not gonna worry about that. Uh, we could reverse and miss to be mana efficient, but he probably has an avalanche, so we're not doing that. That that's literally trolling, I think. It's not. This isn't a full face aggro deck, you know. So I'm gonna assume this is basically turn to turn here. So if he avalanches here, we still keep our uh, Wraith Caller, which is nice. So we have Fading Memories for the Wraith Caller. We have Chronic Ray to heal it later. So it's just a lot of stuff to consider. Oh no! No avalanche? That's so strange, dude. What's... Oh, Dwayo Valky? I see. I want to copy that before it dies. While I was testing, I found out it's pretty much the best thing to copy. Sometimes you copy a regular mystery, but like that's later in the game. Because you do want your mystery to be permanent earlier, and this summons a permanent mystery, right? The War Mother will unite us all. And we can go ahead and play this. Yeah, it kind of stops his attack because he doesn't want me to block with this. What? I was gonna say, dude. That would be kind of the pega. Wow, that would have been great. So 
Summoning a unit at burst speed is pretty powerful here. I'm kind of afraid of another avalanche, but it's whatever. Ooh, troll chance. This is our homeland. Why are you not blocking the bigger one? Huh? Well, he cares this much about Hearth card? Oh. He has double troll chance? Uh, in that case. We could just miscall it if we really, really want to use our miscall here. In this case, I'm going to play around the AoE Avalanche and chill out. Because that could replenish our, uh, our hand base. From the savage cold. I don't want any of that these days. Oh. Okay. And now we're going to do the glorious mist call. Just open. Box there. He probably does some shit to this. And we're just gonna be like. Keck. There's no way he tanks this, eh? Right? There's no way. Vengeance. Um, we could go for more cards. We could literally double atrocity for the win, though, so. An atrocity here. Now, what do we do here? That is the question. Just pass. Set up for another. Ah, oh, that's perfect. Uh, we get that to another well placed attack. Because we're just playing uh, Wraith Caller. Honestly, we can tank 5. Wait, does he run Atrocity? If he runs Atrocity... I mean, he can't kill me anyway, right? What is he gonna do? We're just gonna block you. To make sure we never die. And we're gonna do this. Play another mystery. And then he, he, he's dead! Like, what's he do? Uh, that's a focus. Yeah, we can play a couple more. This, uh, these games are pretty fast. Okay, so up against M Floppy Mudkip. Um, playing Solo Ash, Nox. No Sejuani. Interesting. We're gonna keep a Risen Mist here. Which might be a greedy keep, but I think it's okay. Considering how we're relying on Mr. Ace, our duck is. And there's a Mr. Ace, which is quite nice. Victory requires a sharp blade. The Mr. Ace allows us to not tank 5. Thank god. Solo Ash Nox, no Sejuani. This is so strange. Uh, we're just gonna play the Callista out. And we might have missed uh, an opportunity for 2 damage, but I'm guessing, yeah, he had a Frostbite or something. Yeah. Maybe playing the Callista out was bad, but it's whatever. If he wants to trade it, I am a-okay with it. I am not a-okay with that. I'm not a okay with that. I'm gonna pass. Uh, the Ash is. He's not gonna expect me to kill the Ash, right?
Uh, this is a fearsome doctor, so I have to deal with it one way or another. Unfortunate he gets the trade on this. That was my bad. Yeah, there's no way he expected this. He could have Brittle to save the Ash. That's the only thing. Brittle would be pretty good. Oh, Cho Chant. Right, right, right. Makes sense. So. We can go ahead and pay out a Stalking Shadow, see what we get. Cool. Wow, I wonder what we're gonna do. Huh, is he gonna just tank 10? Wait, he actually tanked 10. This guy's crazy. Uh, he's gonna drag that. We're gonna tank 8. We're tanking a lot of damage. If he... Oh. Give me some chump blockers. I need a chump blocker for the K. I think he should have opened, buffed the Gory Seeker. Because that would have had 8 against this. I should have froze this so this wouldn't even die. So this still 6 damage because of Overwhelm. And then we tank 10. So we tank 16. Wait, that's. That's so big. Wait, why didn't he just do that? So now he gets to block the Kato. Wait, what? Is he gonna level Ash? No, he's not. I was gonna, like, the only way that he kills us is to level That's not fair. We can't glimpse because we have to actually play our units. Oh look, we got more mysteries. Oh god. So he buffs. If he's smart. Stand together. I do not agree with buffing the ash. Yeah, that's what I would do. Because I trump like this. I could do this. It's a bit more damage, but we kill something. Uh, I like it like this, right? Overall, it's worth it. Alright. So. I may have fucked up. You may have had to bank mana for harrowing, and I played scribe. Wait, if I didn't play the scribe there, would I have died? No, because we would have taken five more damage. But I don't know if the harrowing would have been enough. But we I don't know. We're gonna try this. I mean, <laughs> this can't block. So like. Kato, this tank. Over there. No backing down. Wait, wait, that's brittle the other one. Yeah, some cheeky shit. Oh. Oh, he just buffing this, pulling the Callista. Oh, yes, another act. Ah, uh, can we even live? Like, are you dead? Oh yeah, we're dead. Ah. 
Oh well. I'll try to play a bit more. Alright, we're up against Didi is playing Tarek Fiora. He's been playing this deck a lot, a lot. I really hate fighting this deck. It's so annoying. So annoying. Grass can be good, but uh, whatever. I don't, cause like, he's just gonna like, defend his shit, right? Oh, sorry, I have to do this real quick. So I can alt pass. Um, we're just gonna play Wraith Caller on turn 4. Taking this trade is perfectly fine. So whatever. Could even do risk and miss it to a Wraith Caller, honestly. Who does not know the name Laurent? Could just play Scribe. I just pass, see what he does. Okay, you just pass back, that's perfectly fine, perfectly fine. We're just gonna swing at the Wraith Caller so you can miss call it. Never mind, we're not swinging at all. Not swinging at all. Could swing, could have swung with this. Ah. Perfect. I needed a glimpse. Yeah, our mysteries are gonna be pretty big pretty soon. Because we got scribes, we got missed calls. Let's see what he does here. Oh! Sure? I mean, I'll take another mystery. Now the question is, do we take the scribe or do we take the Callista? I'll take the Callista here. It's just a lot of damage for an open. We can even do Risen and Mist into it. And uh, fuck, I hope he doesn't run anything too sketchy. Oh, uh, always put Callista last. I did not mean to hit attack there. I don't. I'm a fuck. I don't fucking know. Uh, so he hushes. Let's say. Oh. Mm, we could glimpse. I'm more inclined to just let the Callista die. And just like lower the protege's health. Seems not bad. We have another Callista in hand anyway. So we can harrowing next turn. If he wipes our board. Which it looks like he wants to do. We could vengeance this. We don't even have to harrowing actually, now that I think about it. I can just fucking swing. Like, what is he gonna do? Okay. I mean, we we can refill the board pretty easily. We also have atrocity. It's fine. If he taps out, we just kill him. Like he's dead. I'll defend these forests to the end. Uh, he never tap out a single combat yet, so I don't want to go for it. This is fine. Still gives us atrocity mana, he has to pass because we never tap out, right? And then we just pass back. Bam 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 bam. The wood can't fight back, but I can. I still 
still wanted to tap out a single combat. Could atrocity now if he single combat? He could have concerted too though. Yeah, let's just like get this through. I mean, what is he gonna do, right? <laughs> we should just play Raid College. How many Raid College have we played this game? Jesus. Strength in grace, beauty in the play. I mean, you can bet he doesn't have single combat, but. I don't like that bet. You are toast. Look, I don't want to let him have single combat. I'm going to do this. This is broken. Now we win. Alright, we're good. Uh, that's just the deck, you know? That's just the deck. Alright guys, that's gonna be the games. The early game can be a little bit rough. Sometimes, as you guys saw in the third game, I think it was. Um, but if you get one Wraith call, is all you need. And you can search that out with Glyphs and Stocky Shadows. You can even add another Stocky Shadows if you want. It might be better than like Second Splinter Soul, but. Or like Second Vengeance. But you saw, you, you guys saw, like, with one Wraith Crawler, you could do so much. You could do so much. You can do Chronicler, you could Fade Memory, Splinter Soul, Miss Call, everything. You could do everything with it. You could scribe it out if you want to, like. Oh my god, there's just so much you can do with this. Um, and I think it's a really good mono deck. It, it's, it's like good deck in general, actually. Like, you can compete with actual decks with this deck, you know? I'm not sure how it compares to Elites. I have not tried Elites with a new card. Uh, I haven't been really interested because it's like one new card and like other people are probably doing it anyway. This just seemed like more new you know there hasn't been a meta mono shadow out there's been meta mono noxus and there has been meta mono demacia mono demacia is probably the most prevalent but um yeah this is like a really cool little mystery concept uh if you enjoyed and you want to try it out the deck codes down below it's super cheap like honestly like Kalista is like the only expensive thing in this list, I think. Which is champion. Oh, Harrowing. Yeah, there's two epics. But like, there's only Kalistas for champions. You guys can't afford that, right? Um, yeah, alright. Um, that code's down below. My stream link will be down below. Not sure my schedule on that still. Trying to rework it a bit. But, uh, yeah. Uh, I'll see you guys next time.